problem based on factors of quadratic function. So, here we are going to perform a problem which is based upon the factors of quadratic function in x that is f of x. So, we have to find out whereas, in the problem we have to find out the quadratic function in x when the roots are off, when the factors are off one has x minus 1, the other one has x minus 2 and the third one has x minus 3 which when divided by means of these factors leaves the remainders as 1, 2 and 4 respectively. So, here we are going to perform this topic in an advanced level. the problem starts now that is the problem number 1. Find a quadratic function in x Says that when it is divided by x minus one, x minus two, and x minus three leaves remainders. 1, 2 and 4. One, two, and as well as 4 respectively. Solution starts now. Whereas, in our solution as per the problem the quadratic function is unknown. So, we have to suppose the quadratic function in case of x such that when that function f of x is divided by means of x minus 1 there leaves the remainder of 1 when the same function f of x is divisible divided by means of x minus 2 it leaves the remainder of 2 and similarly when it is divided by means of x minus 3 leaves the remainder of 4 respectively. So, we have to find out the quadratic function that is unknown one f of x equals to x we are supposing it as a x square plus b x plus c. So, here as per problem let the quadratic function so which is in x. So, we can suppose it as f of x as since there are of 3 factors. So, we can suppose it as the quadratic function as a x square plus b x plus c. So, here the quadratic function is divided first of all in by means of x minus 1 there leaves the remainder 1 and next it is divi divided by means of x minus 2 in order to get 2 as the remainder and divided by means of x minus 3 in order to get the remainder as 4. So, here we suppose the quadratic function as f of x equals to a x square plus b x plus c whereas, in which so here a b c s are unknown. So, here x square coefficient is of a and x coefficient is of b and s constant is of real constant is of c which are unknown. Here we are going to perform three cases that is case number 1 in case number 1 when quadratic function f of x is divided 
by x minus 1 leaves a remainder of 1. x minus 1 leaves a remainder as 1. So, here so that implies f of x is equals to we supposed as a x square plus b x plus c as the quadratic function, but here when it is divided by means of x minus 1. So, here at x minus 1 it le it leaves the remainder as 1. So, therefore, when x minus 1 is equals to 0 when minus 1 is transposed over to the right hand side then x will be equals to. So, minus 1 on the other hand it becomes plus 1. So, we have to in order to get the remainder. So, here remainder r is equals to f of x must be replaced by means of 1 equals to. So, here a into x by means of 1, but it is of squared plus b into x value is of 1 plus c equals to the remainder when it is divided when f of x is divided by means of x minus 1. So, it is leaving a remainder of 1 therefore, the remainder will be equated to 1 in the first case. So, in this manner we got 1 square is 1 1 into a is of a plus b into 1 is of b plus c is equals to 1 is our equation number 1. Then in case number 2 when quadratic function that is f of x is divided by in the next case when it is divided by means of x minus 2 there leaves the remainder of 2. divided by x minus 2 leaves a remainder two. So, here, but the f of x the quadratic function is in x is of a x square plus b x plus c which is the assumed one or the supposed one. So, since we are dividing by means of x minus 2 as the divisor is of x minus 2 then the remainder will be of 2 therefore, it must be equated to 0. So, here x equals to when minus 2 is transposed over to the right hand side. So, here it will become the plus 2. So, here x equals to 2 must be substituted in the given function that is in order to get the remainder that is remainder r is equals to f of x must be replaced by means of 2 that equals to a into x replaced by means of 2 that is whole square plus b into x value is of 2 again then now plus c, but when function of x is divided by means of x minus 2 it leaves a remainder of 2 therefore, the remainder will be equated to 2 here then the next logical step will be of. So, that implies 2 square so 2 must be repeatedly multiplied twice 2 into 2 is of 4 4 into a is of 4 a plus 2 into b is of 2 b plus c equal to 2. So, therefore, 4 a plus 2 b plus c is equals to 2 is the equation number 2 which we got from the case number 2. Then now, the next case that is the third case before going to the third case when the function f of x is divided by means of x minus 3 there leaves the remainder of 4. Then now case number 3 when f of x is divided by x minus 3 leaves a remainder 4. 
but here we know that the supposed function is of ax square plus bx plus c so here we are going to divide by means of x minus 3 so here x minus 3 then it must be equated to 0 then now in order to get the remainder so here x equals to minus 3 on the other hand so it becomes plus 3 therefore x must be substituted as 3 in order to get the remainder that remainder is equals to f of a so here f of here x is of 3 here then now that is equals to whereas in the right hand side so here a into so x must be replaced by means of 3 that is 3 whole square plus i mean b into so x must be replaced by means of 3 again then now plus c so here when f of x is divided by means of x minus 3 so the remainder is of 4 it leaves the remainder of 4 therefore the remainder must be equated to 4 then the next lo logical step will be of that implies 3 square 3 into 3 is of 9 9 into a is of 9a plus 3 into b is of 3b then now plus c must be written as it is that is equals to 4 so in this manner i got so 9a plus 3b plus c equals to 4 is the equation number 3